How's it going guys? Angus here from Maker's Muse. So if you're like me, you're a tinkerer, you'll know that eBay is full of awesome, cheap crap from China. It is absolutely insane. I have boxfuls of the stuff, so I thought in today's video I'd go through some of the things I've found that are actually pretty useful and crazy cheap. So that's coming up. Alrighty, so China's been quick to latch onto the 3D printing train and there is so many things coming out of China now on eBay that you can buy to get up your 3D printer project off the ground and the prices are literally insanely cheap. Yes, it'll take three weeks to show up, but if you plan ahead, you can get an awesome project going for pretty much pocket change. So let's get started on this. This is a Ramps 1.4 board with everything you need for under $40 Australian. Two years ago, I built my cupcake icing printer for my uni project and I paid $240 for this same amount of stuff and now it's 40 bucks. You'll need an extruder for your project, right? $12. This is a Bowden style extruder based off the E3D hot ends and obviously just another ripoff um, made in China, but it's got everything you need. It's got the Teflon tube, it's got the fan, the heat sink, it's even got a little nozzle there. So. Yeah, um, or also, yeah, it's got the heat tube and thermistor all in, all assembled, ready to go. You're going to need a push fitting if you're doing a Bowden style extruder. If you buy these at your local pneumatics uh, or air supply store, they will charge you <laughs> probably 10 times this price. Um, this is $1.50 shipped for a fitting. You also need a feeder gear for your extruder motor to push through. Uh, I personally like the stainless steel ones. They're a little bit harder than the brass ones, in my opinion, a little bit harder wearing. So this is a little $2 gear. They're basically all just pinion gears, um, but they work, so why not? Uh, I thought this one was pretty cute. So obviously a lot of these factories in China are getting these parts and they don't really know what they are. So they're giving them to some poor guy and like, take photos for our eBay page. So here's some extruder parts and here's how they're supposedly meant to be assembled. <laughs> oh no, yeah, so... I think that's pretty cute. They obviously just have these parts and don't know what they're meant to be doing. So, yeah. But $4 for a nozzle, Teflon lined, heat break, whatever. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and you're going to need nozzles. Um, yeah, just search nozzle 3D printer and there is literally hundreds and hundreds of different types of nozzles. Some really interesting ones as well, like 1.75 mil filament that goes down to 1 mil. So you could have like a really fast coarse printer. Stuff like that, it's pretty interesting. But again, they're really cheap. They may not work with your printer, but a dollar is certainly a lot cheaper than $27, which is the price we pay in Australia for the up 3D printer nozzles, which is pretty bonkers. And then we have these. This is 0.4 mil drill bits for cleaning out your nozzle. Grab these regardless of whatever you're doing. You know, if you're not gonna buy anything else on eBay, just get these lined up. $4, they'll turn up in three weeks. And when you have a blockage, you'll thank me for it because you just twiddle Twizzle, that's the technical word, twizzle them up into the nozzle um, hot end when it's hot to clean any of the debris out and then it'll just extrude like a charm. This has saved me so many times and you will break them very quickly. So a 10 pack, I'd get like three 10 packs to be honest. Give them to your friends when they're in trouble. Then you're going to have to move the axes on your 3D printer somehow. Well, you can get these Acme threaded rods for $7. This one's pretty short, it's only you know that long, 100 mil long but you can get much longer as well. And also, if you're in Australia, Cupcake and CNC World, I can highly recommend those guys in Melbourne, I believe. They sell the Acme threaded stuff locally in Australia, as well as uh, standard ground linear rod and also the 8020 aluminium extrusion stuff, which is pretty cool. So definitely hit up those guys if you're in Oz. But if you don't want to use Acme threaded rods, you can use timing pulleys. So these are GT2, which in my opinion are the better timing pulleys to use for your 3D printer kit and you can get them for $1.30 each. So you're gonna need, you know, four or whatever. Um, that's just so cheap. I remember going to a local uh, engineering store in Australia here, and they wanted to charge me $150 for four timing pulleys, uh, you know, T5, so pretty standard crap, actually. It's, you know, four timing pulleys and uh, one meter of belt. 150 bucks, $1.30. Sorry guys, I know it's Australian, but you know, what do you want me to do? I'm not going to spend that much money. Uh, belting, again, $2 a meter. Just, this is probably really rubbish belting. It's probably got the Kevlar weave in it, so it's not going to be very good at resisting stretch. But if your printer is going to be really cheap and you don't care too much about that, 
$2. And then you have your motors. So most 3D printers use NEMA 17s and they're still about $15 Australian each. They're not going to get much cheaper. So I found these motors. These are crazy, crazy cheap. Less than $2 each shipped, but they're pretty rubbish out of the box. So these stepper motors are pretty popular for Arduino experimenters kits and stuff, but they're really slow and pretty gutless. But I found there's actually a hack you can do them. So you can actually cut one wire and turn them from a homopolar into a bipolar step motor. And then they become like two and a half times more powerful, which is really cool. Yeah, so this guy, um, Jean Adrianson, I'm so bad at pronouncing names. Um, yeah, so worked out how to turn it from a unipolar into a bipolar motor just by cutting that little wire there. And then they're more powerful, which is really cool. So it actually might just be enough to run your 3D printer kit. Uh, but also those motors are good for small other projects. For example, if you want to make a linear slide for a camera jig, perhaps. This is an easy stepper motor driver. Uh, it's a clone of you know the, uh, the SparkFun one, I believe, or the Lady Ada one. Don't quote me on that. It's been a while. I got one a few years ago for like 20 bucks. Uh, it's exactly the same. Probably cheaper components, but yeah, it'll work fine and it will run your now hacked bipolar motor really well. But you're going to need some other brains behind driving this, aren't you? $2.50 Arduino Nano. <laughs> uh, it's probably got the fake FTDI driver chip on it. So I don't, for those who don't know, there was actually uh, the FTDI earlier this year rolled out like a patch that bricked all the fake ones. So I think they rolled that back now. The fake ones just don't work on the latest Windows update. But if you have Linux, it'll work fine. So you're taking a bit of a chance. I don't know if it's going to apply to these ones that use USB connections. But worst case, it doesn't work. $2.50. And I've got about five of these and they all seem to work fine. So yeah, you can easily make a camera slider kit for $2.50 plus $2.50 plus $2. Less than $10 plus a little bit of 3D printing and random bits and bobs to make your camera slider kit. Pretty cool. And just on the Arduino Nano side of things, I don't do much Arduino stuff to be honest, but you can get 37 sensors for 48 bucks. Uh, I really like the joysticks as well. So if you're doing any sort of classes with kids and you want lots of random sensors at your disposal or you're running a hacker space, yeah, get these. And then gear motors. I like to build little combat robots and things like that. And I've been buying gear motors off eBay for ages. They are a little bit hit and miss. Their quality is definitely not that great. But if you're building any robots, particularly this one, I like this one a lot because it has a really long shaft. So if you just search for like 1000 RPM, 12 volts, 1000 RPM, 6 volts or 500 RPM, whatever, that will generally find you, land you in the right ballpark for what you're looking for because eBay is so huge, so much crap on it. Uh, that will generally find you something that's decent enough for your purpose. And these can drive little one kilo platforms. Fine. You know, no problem at all. And just something I wanted to throw in right at the end is this 12 volt car air raid siren. $10. Uh, I'm so gonna buy this. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this random video about stuff on eBay. There's so much crap on there, but there's actually a lot of really good stuff you can get direct from China. Again, keep in mind that you're looking at a lead time of like three weeks to get stuff direct from China. That's why it's so cheap. So we're coming up to probably a month out of Christmas. So if you're gonna buy anything uh, for your friend or you know, partner who's interested in tinkering, now would be a good time to do it. So thanks for watching guys, we'll be returning you to your regular 3D printing content very shortly here on Maker's Muse, and I'll see you then. Bye!